In this video on the master data information, I'll show you the difference from information codes, information values, values, description, and files. It's different columns in the master data information, and we use them for different purposes in NAV. So going into NAV, looking at a mountain bike, I will enter the specifications, and we store the values in the information values in three different levels. So the first level, the top level, is what we call information code. That relates to an underlying table of information code. And because I'm coming from a specification, I now have filter on specification, meaning the more measurable information codes. I can add as many as I prefer in here. A bike, color, frame, hub gear, tire, wheel diameter, etc., etc. No limits to how many information code I add. I could also have come from a text or from a file. Then it would have filter on the text and file. So if I remove the filter in here, we could see all the information codes available independent on the type. So we have the prices, we have quality control form, which obviously might be a file that we would like to add. We have the pictures and so on. So information code is the top level. The more information I can add to the information code level, the easier it is for me to change. So if I wanted to change the description technical information and I change it here, it will scroll down through all the hierarchy on all items, all customers and vendors that use this information code. So the top level should be the, the shortest level of information, but uh, the most wide one. I'll get back to the different issues along uh, those rows, what we can do with those in different uh, videos later on. This is the information code. The second level is the information value that relates to the information code. So if the information code is a bike, a bike type, the information values is defined in here. So you define those once for all. So you can add values in here if you want to make a new bike or if you want to add a color in the color in here. You can just go into this view and add a new one in here, like blue for instance, and you should add both the information value and the description. The description is meant to, to be in big and small uh, capital and small letters to be able to make it look nice in the late, later long description that we want to create. Whereas the information value is a code field that will only be capital letters. So the information value list is like the middle layer. It's still, uh, it, it's, it's related to the information code and we use it on the item and customer layer, but it's still less information. So it's easier to update here. So if I change the, the description of the color blue here, it will update all my items, customers and vendors that has the description blue on it. And the last layer, of course, it's the view I'm in here. It's on the, in this case, on the item level related to item number 1002 because it's the item I'm coming from. And it's a specification because I click the specification button in there. On this layer, I can add or choose the information value directly here, like we did color. I could also add values manually on this layer. So if you look on the wheel diameter, the information value optional in here was inch, centimeters, or millimeters, and I can add the value directly here. So this is a field I can enter on this level. So I could say it's only a 27 inch uh, wheel diameter, and I enter it directly here. So this is not an optional list if I use the value field. And likewise with the description field, the default description comes from the information code or the information value, but I can enter it in here. So if I want to write something else, I could just write something else in here. Likewise, with the file placement, I can add files. If something, some files relate to this thing, I could just choose from the dropdown and I can add a file and attach it to this line as well. So these are the difference of the different, the difference of the different layers in here uh, in this hierarchy. It works the same way on the customer, of course, and the windows, and you can use the same information code from the list on both customers and vendors and items.